the planet we call our home existed long before we came along. Lush, green, blue, and peaceful. The Earth as of 2014 was peppered with characters all across the globe. The traditional Middle East, who only concern the matters of their world as important. The blissful Europeans, who valued food and life above all others. The deliberate folks of Asia, who focused much of their time on their own development. and North America, represented by the tranquil Canada. And the anointed protectors of the world, the United States. For the purpose of this narration, we have simplified and dramatized the events we are going to focus on. Events that would engulf between Europe, Asia, and North America. Now after the Second World War, mankind began to radiate hope. Hope as to why we were chosen as a species to top the tree of life. We had truly begun to value ourselves as individuals with the power of choice. We began to value our feelings, be it joy, worry, laughter, contemplation, or a moment of utter bliss at being carefree. Within a little over half a century, we had landed on two of our neighboring planets, walked on our eternal and nocturnal dance partner, the Moon. We had unlocked thousands of questions over which we pondered in the centuries past, and we had successfully eradicated diseases that had consumed our species over thousands of years. We had even finally managed to unite the world through the most wondrous of inventions called the Internet, and we had just started our baby steps to decode the cosmos. This was our moment, a moment in time, when we were truly free to make a choice as a world, together. We were free from ourselves, our shackles, our fears, our superstition. We were finally aware that we are the universe observing itself. While all our endeavors were taking off, something equally nefarious was taking place. We were losing touch with our roots. We were no longer connected with our planet as we once were. In our pursuit for glory, we were losing our only home. The world had changed. You could feel it in the water. You could feel it in the air. The scent of the earth wasn't the same anymore. Much that once was, was lost. For none now lived to describe it. It began with the forging of the great nations. Three from Asia, wisest and most hard-working of them all. Seven nations from Europe, the great craftsmen of our past. And two from North America, who above all else, desired power. Within the confines of a treaty, they were bound with strength to govern and direct the world's and mankind's future. But they were all deceived, for a weapon was created deep in the world of science. We had unearthed a master weapon, one that would soon control all others. With this weapon arose a future of deceit, malice, and conceit. For the one who owned most of this weapon would rule them all. 
a future of knowledge and progress was subsided by one, where fear was religion was made an excuse for war than guidance. Darkness crept where there should have been light. A rumor grew of an assault in the east. The master weapon, which had been barely used since its inception, perceived its time had now come. Russia was incriminated in a war that was not what the nation had intended. Someone was hurt. The United States exercising its right to police the world went charging in. Though the other nations tried to stop the conflict, it came down to the question of loyalties and sides. The great nations lined up for the war that would end them all. The United States against Russia. The Middle East against China. The Europeans against everyone. India stood out of it, as she always had done in her past. It was not an example that many followed. Having narrated our story, I have one last thing to say. The purpose of this documentary was to help you understand that there was no peace in the past, because we had forgotten that we belonged to one another. We were all part of the same world, part of the same species. We need to realize that people aren't all good or all bad. We move in and out of darkness and light all of our lives. We need to understand one another this, for in judgment we can only ever love others less. Right now, I'm pleased that light has dawned upon us once more. We have been given another opportunity. We must treasure it, for it may be our very last chance. A human being is part of the whole, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. We must learn to understand ourselves, enjoy, and explore the universe in our time here. For the planet will exist long after we are gone.